Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Shredder here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in Forgotten Hill Disillusion. This was developed by FM Studio, published by Radalika Games, and as usual, as usual, is available for a lovely small 4 dollars so this is a point and click adventure game with some horror aspects, although don't worry, there are no jump scares at all. Just the people in it sound proper weird, it's like muffled demon voice, let's call it. Yeah, why not? But it isn't too bad at all, it is as point and clicky as you can get. Now achievements and trophy wise, there are a few missable ones, but they are easily obtained. Story related progression 1 2 as we go through the game's 5 chapters, and that's about it. All in all, it's easy, it's a good game, and it'll only take us one to two hours to complete it. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And the very first thing you can do is just go ahead, in the bottom right corner, skip the cutscene, and then we'll automatically go through to the door. And then we're going to get uh, this pilled up security guard, <laughs> with his eyes in the back of his head, I don't know what's happened to him. But, you press the A button anyway, to talk to him, from the inventory at the bottom there, this is how, it, th that is how you do it, you just click what you want and then drag it to wherever you want. And um, we'll get a few of these uh, sort of books and things like that, but we can just skip it through to the end, click the cross on the end, and then as you can see, we'll go through the door, and the right, we'll have right and left arrows on the screen, which we can obviously go right or left. You can also use the D-pad if you want to go right or left, just to, um, uh, if you want to just do that a little bit quicker. I won't be using it, because if I do it, it does get slightly confusing, so I'll be using the arrows on screen. And we come up to our first puzzle. It's, it's very easy. All you've got to do is just click on one piece and um, click it with another piece to swap them around. Um, so if you just want to see this particular finished puzzle, go ahead and skip to 2 minutes 30 seconds. So when this is done then, you can grab the key and you can normally just back out of things just by clicking on the right or the left arrows, uh, just pressing the A button on it. So go right once, right twice, and here we are then. So we're going to go into the left side door with this uh, sort of statue there. So again, click A and click A to go through. Again, it's constant puzzles and stuff to do in this game, so it's always fun. But pick up the bottle of sleeping liquid there from the left hand side, then click on the cabinet. And we need to get a specific set of um, shapes going. So, the first one is hexagon, the second one is a pentagon, the third one will be a diamond, and the fourth one will be an upside-down triangle, which is called um, upside-down triangle. Screw it. Uh, so, pick up the book, again, smash through all the pages, and just uh, click the cross at the top right-hand corner twice, so we can knob our way out of that one. And then we can just go back out for the time being. So, from here then, what we're going to do is, um, underneath the statue, we're just going to open it up and grab the book. And just smash through all the pages as well. Ah, look at that guy's nose. I fully expected to see a penis in there. That is genuinely what we always used to do in school. Right, anyway, just underneath the statue's arms was this piece of paper, so make sure to grab that one as well before going right. And we are speaking with this delightful little gentleman. And this is what I mean by the weird muffly voice. It's actually quite frighteningly, hilariously, just frightening. But anyway, he wants a glass of wine. So let's nip back to the left. And this time we're going to go in the right-hand side door, which be the dining room. And grab the key and then drag it to the bottom cupboard. And grab both items in here. One is sugar and one be, one be sugar and one be wine. Grab the book as well. And then slippity slip slip through. And cross that and cross that again. Lovely jubbly. Right, go right. Right, go right. Now pick up the mouse trap. And again, that, that's not for pleasure or anything. That's not one for all the men with fetishes who want to put it on their bows. Um, put the wine bottle then in the wine bottle, you know, thing or upper. Now this is a particular order that we have to do it in. Um, so, on the left one, we're going to put that one in the middle and the right one in the middle. Then press the red button. Next, put the left one all the way up to the top. So you'll have to click on it a couple of times just so it goes up to the top there. And then the right one put at the bottom and then push the red button. Now the left one, we're going to put that one to the middle and the right one put that one up. 
push the red button and finally the left one down and the right one down push the red button I mean oh and sorry we've got one more so push the left one all the way up and the right one all the way up then push the red button and that is how you get the wine open who makes a puzzle why make things difficult anyway pour the wine into the glass by dragging it and uh, if we go ahead, go all the way to the right, click the sleepy uh, potion thing that we got earlier, put that in the wine glass as well. So we should have a full wine glass. Um, apparently it's awkward to... Well, why is it so awkward to open a wine bottle? Who came up with that contraption? Anyway, going to the right, we're going to give this guy the wine. But what he wants now is a crispy snack. Why don't you get it yourself? Who knows? But anyway, he looks like he could kill us dead. So let's do as he says, I suppose, yeah? So from here, we're going to go to the left, and we are going to go to the left again, and this time, we're going to go into the right-hand side door, the one that has yet to be opened. But of course, if you want to do that, use the silver key on it, makes your life easier. Right, if we just go ahead here and drag the projector, which is at the top, oh, sorry, no, put the mouse trap, sorry, at the bottom first, and then we're going to drag the projector all the way from the top to the right. And then we can press the red button, and all you got to do is put all the ornaments, as it is in the picture, on the left. Easy as pear. Easy as a crispy snack and autumn. And yeti so then there is that puzzle complete that gives us a key again I'm always wondering who's hiding all this stuff in point-and-click games Somebody with a secret to tell and uh, Somebody buried under the floorboards anyway go right back to the way the statue is and we're going back into the dining room uh, Grab the key and open it the other side and for some reason somebody left a, just a big piece of cheese in behind a lock cabinet Go back and go to the left side screen and um, we're going back into the uh, room, same room that we were just in. Uh, put the cheese on the mouse trap, and then go back out. You should hear a little click, a dead click. Again, sorry men with weird fetishes, this is not for you. This is for catching a rat. So go ahead, pick that rat up. Leave the bloody mouse trap there if you want. Uh, go to the right, and head back into the dining room. And we're going to go um, put the rat on the plate, and then pick it up. Job done. So you've got a rat plate now. Nice. Go to the right into the kitchen. And then what we could do is open up the oven. Eventually, we will. There we go. So we're going to open up the oven. We're going to stick the rat inside. Uh, actually click on the oven. Now, there's a particular order again to do this. So the, the left dial, put it to 180, which is sort of three from the bottom. Just keep clicking it until you get about three from the bottom. Um, with the middle dial, turn it to 15, so click it once, and then the right dial, click it all the way down to the bottom, and then just press the red button to the right of you. Gordon Ramsay would be proud of this. How'd you make a tasty looking pie? Stick a rat in it and put some gravy in it. Blamissimo, eh? There you go, that is how you make rat pie. So, go back, go down, go to the right. And give our f new friend the deliciousness that is, we, we call it uh, steak and kidney pie, but it's actually rat with AIDS in it. <laughs> so he falls asleep. We can now grab the book, smash through it all, click X twice there. And there we go. So you should get the achievement for doing that as well. He sleeps very, um, I mean, very fancy like that's a very posh way to sleep. Anyway, what we can do now, click the stopwatch. And the gear that we just got off him, put it in the right, uh, top right-hand corner, or top left-hand corner, sorry. I'm forgetting which is my lefts and rights, which is pretty stupid, actually. Right, go off that and click left, and click left again. And this time we're going into the door on the left, which is the library. Click right when we're into the library, and click this big panel in front of us. All you got to do then is just put all four books in and then rearrange them. So if you just want to see the finished product, it's best to just skip to 10.15, please.
So with that one done then, that opens that up in front of us and then we can just, um, well, we can just walk in straight through. Yeah, lovely. Right, we're going to grab the camera on the top right hand corner. This is going to come in handy for solving quite a lot of puzzles. As old timey cameras often are, that's all they were good for apparently. And the way you do that then, it should now be in the inventory, so you can just go ahead, click that up. And then on the bottom right hand corner of the camera, that is how you can move. So kind of like an analog stick kind of thing. So if you go in the top right hand corner, you can take a picture. So then when you grab the camera up later on, you'll have the picture so you can solve the puzzle, etc. So for now, where we are with the camera, just put that on the right hand side safe. Uh, so the arrow there at the bottom, then the triangle. As long as you don't keep smashing through it like I just did twice. Come in. There we go. So the safe should now open, but that is how you use the camera. It's very easy, but we've just grabbed the scissors out of there and the spade as well. So that's all good. Uh, we don't need it at the camera for now, so you can just click X on it and back out. And we're all good with the library bit, I believe, for the time Boeing. So we can just head back left. And let us um, go left again so we can get out and then go right here. And in this bit of statue room, go to the left door. And now what we need to do is do another little puzzle where you just have to, again, click the A button and put it wherever the shape you want to go is. Very easy, but again, just skip forward literally 20 seconds to see the finished product on this one. And after all that, what do we get? Just a hammer. Who the hell are hiding all these pieces of crap? So we get a hammer, we can back out, go to the right, go to the right again, past the snorry muck rat face right there, and go right again, and click on the camera. Now if we put it down, you can see where the uh, red X is. So now we know that, we can now use the hammer, pick up the heart, and pick up the piece of paper there. So again, you actually need the camera to know where these is. You can't just randomly click on it with a hammer. You actually have to know where it is to smash it. So go to the left, go to the left again. And this time we're going through the left door. So ignore what I'm doing. We're not going through the right one. We're going through the left one. And again, um, click the sort of desk area. Now we have to put in a, a new separate code. So it's triangle, triangle, pentagon, and diamond. So triangle, triangle, upside down, upside down. Pentagon and diamond. There it is. So again, it'll all, always you'll always hear the um, noise and it'll automatically come on. But again, through all that, we just get a stinking pencil. Then we can back out and go to the right again. And we're going to uh, get your camera out, have a look at his coat, and you can see somewhere we can actually cut. So we've got the scissors. So put the scissors on the bottom of his uh, coat right there, and that will get us the diamond shape. Lovingly. Right, we're going to back out to the left, go through the right door to the dining room again, and then go right again into the kitchen, and pick up, and well, have a look at the bug. Now, what you need to do is put the sugar just on the bug so he starts chowing down, and then stick it in him. Get that protein down you. Deliciousness. Except again, Peter will probably try and ban this game, because everyone and Peter are a bunch of pieces. Right, so we got the bug, make sure to pick up the bug, <laughs> then we can just back out, go back out, and back out again. Uh, they are annoying though, aren't they? So go through the left door again, and have a look at the sort of picture frame there, on the back of the wall. Now the aim of the game is basically just to get all the swords pointing towards the coin. That is it. Uh, so if you go from one at the top, and then sort of six to the left of it, so one going around clockwise. So um, on the fifth one... Put that one down until the sword is basically just pointing down. There is, again, a specific way to do this. On number two, um, click on it sort of six times until the sword below is pointing towards the coin. And on the third sword, we'll say just keep on going until it's pointing just to the uh, first one. Then on the sixth one, uh, click that one again about five or six times until the top sword number one sword is looking down at the coin Then interact with number one Sword and again, we're going to interact with that about six times until the bottom sword there is looking at the coin then interact with the bottom coin 
Uh, sorry, the fifth coin again, just to get the second sword looking, and go ahead, the third sword, click, click that a couple of times, and the coin will eventually appear. Now, so that is how I did that puzzle. Now, staying in this room, if you whap out your camera obini, again, trying to take any selfies or some wiener pics, um, there is the bug, as you can see, where we just picked up the coins, and now we can place the killed dead bug, pop that one in, and that will get us the club. So now we have th uh, all four. We should now have all four. Um, Ace of Spades. Only Ace of Spades. Um, all four shapes there. So we can go all the way to the right now. Now all you got to do is just pop them in to the door. And then we've got to uh, put the coin in the left-hand side sort of thing right there. I can't even remember what they're bloody called now. So pop them all in. Now the aim's a bit off, but you, uh, <laughs> you've got to put the reticle on it, that is how you do that one. So, um, put the five cents in then, apparently it is five cents. Now all you've got to do then, this is like a kind of weird puzzle thing. So, a couple of things we've got to do. You go five, which is the V, plus one, and that's the first bit done. And then five minus one, that's the next bit done. Five plus... Three, that's the next bit done, and then it's five plus five. five. <coughs> Almost lost my foot in there, and then one plus one, and that is how you do that one. For, for some reason, he gets his all uh, apparently British teeth out. I say British because Americans always think the British people have got teeth like that. So grab the ticket and then move on. We're going to try and go through this next door, and then the pilled up security guards going to be like. <laughs> Grab him the ticket, and well, I'll enjoy this section. You you go back and take a rest, buddy. Have a drink as well. Your lips and your eyes look a bit, uh, well, they look a bit scarce, mate. So, into the second chapter then. Go right a uh, couple of times until we see the sparrow right there, and go all the way right until we see this cross on the wall. Interact with it a couple of times, again, by pressing the A button, and we can interact with the key. So that gives us the first key. Interact with the right-hand side door, and knob yourself through. And we just have to put these pictures of the bug in a particular order. It should only take about two seconds. Uh, well, about maybe 10 to 20, anyway. So it'll be circle on the top left one, triangle, the cross, and then the sort of circle with the cross and the square. That is how you do that one. And now our wing will drop down. And lovely. Right, we'll come back to this room in just a little bit. Right, go back and then go through the left door. Sit still with the room with the same cross. And then we've got this weird woman who, apparently we can't take her pendant, even though she's got the skinniest legs ever, and we can literally just trip her up. I mean, I highly advise don't trip up old women in real real life with walking sticks, but if you wanted to, you could easily just do that then. But for now, we're just going to go left, left, there's a sparrow, go left again, and then left again, until we get to this room with a little table. We're going to put the uh, bird cage just on top of the rope. And that puzzle on the right, which is going to come back to a little bit later on. So interact the silver key with the door, and that'll be good enough for... Uh, who's who's hiding this? Who's it? We need to pick up the bucket, the broom, and the screwdriver to the radiator anyway. But who is locking that? There's just no point. Oh, it does look like a death room, doesn't it? Anyway, go right uh, twice until we get this dinosaur bone with the sparrow and go through this door. And that is the owl which you need, so we can go right for the time being. Now put the broom in any one of the um, chains right there. That'll sort that one out. Interact with it, and that'll get us our first gear cog. The gear cog of Lahi Hive. Right, interact the screwdriver with the dinosaur eye. That will get us the... Well, well, dinosaur eye. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, straightforward. Interact the eye with the owl, and then interact one of the wings, or the only wing that we've got with the owl, so that should be the left-hand side done. And we'll go and grab the rest and come back then, yeah? Sounds fantastic. Right, so back out. And then from here, what we can do is go to the left. And then we're going to go through this unopened door, which is basically the big plant room. Mario actually craps his pants from here. Get your camera out, and then go on the right-hand side. Now, this is the first sort of dinosaur. You can take the picture, like I said, with the top right-hand corner. But we need that dinosaur to be in a specific position. So go back, go to the right. 
Now with the three ropes hanging um, just outside the dinosaur, we can take a look. So if you do get your camera out, you can see the position he's supposed to be in. Um, but if you just interact with the middle one once, then the left one interact with that three times. And then the last one interact with it, the, the one on the right interact with it five times. Five or six times there, and that should, t until the tail's pick, uh, poking out, then you can press the red button and grab the key and the uh, owl wing from there. If you just accidentally clicked on Sparrow, it doesn't matter, he just goes to the right side of the screen, he'll still be there for you, so don't worry. Go left twice, and a third time apparently, and interact with this door, the sort of ladybug bird bug room. Get the key, interact that with the locked case to get open that weird ass spiky bug thing. And apparently there's a weird flying, uh, weird floating fetus there. Um, so underneath the, the fajita, I'm typing the words dying. Now if you could do it first time instead of me being like a complete mongos and, uh, you know, missing. Because some of the letters are, <laughs> some of the letters are gone. So it can be easy to miss one. As you can see, I've just done that about a million times. But we're just trying to spell dying. That's all we're doing. Stop being a mong, me! Okay, I stopped being mongish, and we get some gloves. <laughs> well, to handle a bunch of weird fetuses, you've got to do that, haven't you? Anyway, use the gloves on the weird spiky bug um, from the cabinet there to pick that one up. Plus, we've got the gloves, so we can go back out and go to the right, and go to the right again. And we're going to go through this door. Once again, back into the Mario plant weird room. Give the bug to that weird-ass Mario plant, and that'll kill him dead. So there's a bunch of green, acidy, crab-looking stuff there. So put the bucket underneath. Uh, give it a couple of times. Click the bucket again to get a full bucket. Interact with this plant to get the mandrake. A sad, sad-looking sad creature. And this is the way the next dinosaur... Dino... <laughs> dinosaur? Dinosaur shape should be so again take a picture of it so we can you can do it easily and as soon as we back out This is the dinosaur we need but interact with the middle rope a uh, total of three four times Three four and four times the left one interact with it once and then the right one interact with it once Press the red button and that should open up the drawer so that gives us a poster and a knife again w Weird weird going on in this museum go left and through the door this time we can use the gloves on the lightning bulbin. So what we can do now then, get the poster and put that up on the wall. That's a fetching lovely little poster. Get your camera out and this is another solution that we have to do. So again, take a picture if you'd like, if that is what you want in life. And exit the camera, go left. And then we are going to go left again. And well, you can see it, just a little picture, just uh, just behind the picture, a little something. We're going through the door, interact with the bucket, and put it on the um, hook. That opens that up for us, and we get another gear for us to, well, enjoy. And we'll enjoy that later on. But for now, we're going left, and then we're going right, and then we're going right again. And we're going through the door uh, with this little bit of dinosaur into the plant room, and go to the right again, into this new room. Grab the bulb, put it in the lamp. Christ, that's a big bulb. And put the mandrake um, up on the hook just above there. And then, for a laugh, stick a knife in him, then. Oosh, Jesus Christ. Right, that gives us an alien infantiniosi wosi, but it looks more like a pear. So, we got the pear, grab the pear, and now we can just head back out. Alenium infantuntankintingantong. Yeah, right. Go left until you see the bit with the bird cage, and then put the pear or the Alonium Fandango Rigungo on it. Go right a couple of steps, and we're basically going to find the Sparrow. There he is. So for me, he went onto the next screen, because I accidentally clicked on him earlier. And he's going to go in the birdcage, but for now, we'll just leave him um, eat that weird pear thing. So we're going back to um, this dinosaur little section. Go right from here, and into this next door. Uh, back in the owl room. So we interact with the panel on the left there. We need to put in a particular number, and that number is... Two, three, five, seven, nine. Two, three, seven, five, nine, even. So, two, three, seven, five, nine. Sorry about that one. Uh, so, two, three, seven, five, nine. That gets us the eye. So, we should now have the eye, which we're going to put on the owl, and the other wing, which we're going to put on the owl. And he's going to do a little dance for us. In just a bit. So, for now, have a look at the colors on the bottom left hand corner panel there. 
and you just have to put these uh, colours in a particular order. And the first one is going to be green. It's not going to be red. We'll pop, pop that one back. There it is. So it's green first, then yellow, then red, then blue, then grey. So that opens up these other colours which you have to put in another particular order. And the first one is red. So put that one to the left. Then it'll be grey, so the fifth to the second. The yellow, third is fine, and then, um, oh sorry, it's green, then yellow, then blue. Sorry, so red, grey, green, yellow, blue, and then you have to actually switch them down. So put the circles onto the bottom, and that is how you do that puzzle. Joyous of joys, we have another gear. Awkward puzzle to get one particular gear. You could literally just nip down to... Kmart, Walmart, every other Mart, or Tesco and Asda just to get a couple of gears, but anyway. Going back left a couple of paces uh, with the birdcage, interact with the panel on the wall. Now we've just got to um, put these gears in a particular order. So the big one, we're going to pop that up to the top right slightly. The next big one, put it down to where the previous one was. The small one to the left of that, put that up to the top left gear. The next small gear, put that down to the right side of the big gear at the bottom there. Then grab any gear you want and pop that um, in sort of the middle in between these two gears. Grab another one and pop that one um, sort of again just in the middle on the right. And the final one, put it in the most obvious place and that gets the rest of it going and life is good. Press the button and that's the birdie and pear done. Pick that one up, cage with the bird and then keep going all the way to the right until we're back at the cross area, go into the left-hand side door, until we see weird witch old woman. Give her the bird anyway, and that gets us the achievement, plus it also gets us a pendant, which we can now steal, which is actually just a gear. So, little old blind deary was a bit, um, a bit dumb-onic there. Demonic dumb-onic. But anyway, that's what we need, so we can pop that in the bottom right-hand corner of our stopwatch, and again, press the A button to click off it, um, you can have a look at the book um, here, but it's not necessarily needed really at all. Uh, it's more for uh, collecting. It's just more as a 100% collectible thing. So when you go left a couple of times and then go into this door with the owl room, grab the key and then open up the, um, well, it will be a chest. But if you click on the owl once, this is where he dances for us. Dance, owl monkey. Dance, boy. Dance in. Prance in. Romancing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't romance an owl personally, but each to their own. So, we're done here. We can now back out, go all the way to the right, and go into the right-hand side room. And now we've got this small puzzle to do. So again, just fast-forward it literally 20-30 seconds to see the end product. And with that one done then, we can now grab the ticket, uh, which basically signifies the end of the level. So, we got to see Mr. Rees. Let's just head all the way back to the left now. So, we've done this second bit. Head all the way back to the left. And now, we can go to the right. There we go, and we're going to get our little pilled up guard. Yeah, you got no lips. I'm really thirsty, mate. You got any water? Nah, just, I got this ticket, mate. All right, then, piss off. Get in this, Jan. So, he wanted water. Well, this is the part for it. We're in the C part of the horror-ish type museum now. So go right, as soon as you get here. Open up this door and jump on straight through. A couple of jellyfish. But for now, snag the tooth, which is just at the bottom of the jellyfish tanks. And then go right. And then uh, go ahead and go right again. And then open up this door on the right. And we're going to see this weird... I mean, we'll just call him Davy Jones, yeah? Right, tidy. So, he wants a fish. Again, you can literally knit down the shops and get one yourself, you lazy turd bag. But, since not, we have to actually help him out. That's turdish. So, go to the right and open up this right door. This is the sort of poster bit. And we've got a big skull fish type thing. So, what we're doing, grabbing the uh, wheel, which is just on top of the bone fish. And there is a tooth just on the right there, so you should have that uh, valve wheel and two teeth. 
go to the right so we can exit out of that and go through the left door. And we pick up the jar of worms, which is just on the right. Pick up the pincers as well, or the pliers, or the angry boys, whatever you want to call them. Put the valve wheel on here. And now what we have to do is put the jar with the worms um, in the top. Now there is a specific way you have to do this. Now, what you have to do is just keep hold of the A button. If you let go of the A button, it uh, the puzzle will reset. So you have to keep hold of the A button. So go around clockwise once, then anti-clockwise uh, twice. Stop here and then go back clockwise once, twice, and then let go of the A button and that should be that. So there are only two types of that particular puzzle in the game. We just have to keep hold of the A button. But with that one done, we've now got um, worm paste, which is, oh man, it's all protein, baby. Uh, but we're going to the right and just to the left of this big booth thing was the third tooth. Now we can head through the door. So go ahead and do that. Weird looking fish. Looks like this fish has killed a man. That's nice. Anyway, go through the <laughs> left hand side door. Pick up the fourth tooth there at the bottom right, uh, bottom left hand corner. And we can just head back through. Leave the um, deadly ass weird fish to his meal apparently. Go left, go left. And go left again. Until we get to big jaws right here. Now we can use the pincers on the lock. So we can knob our way through there as well. Right, pick up the worm paste and put it in this machine. I don't know how uh, worm paste makes an uh, electronic machine work, but there we go. So now we have to do, this is the second of the puzzle. So again, do not let go of the A button, but go sort of clockwise. So sort of down on yourself. You have to do it four. Don't go anymore, otherwise the puzzle will reset. Then go up, so sort of anti-clockwise. But from here, do it six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Back down clockwise, and you need to uh, do it six times again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, be very, very careful. Go back around anti clockwise and do it four times. So, one, two, three, four, and then just spin it right round, and that is how you unlock the safe. So, that's the only time we need to do that particular puzzle in terms of holding the A button. So, grab the fifth tooth. Grab the jar with water. Grab the book if you want, but the main thing is the wiring diagram there, which we're going to need. Again, you can have a look. I do, you know what? Creatures of the deep and all all things like in the sea really fascinate me. That is one of my nerdy, beautiful traits about me. Exactly like Henry Cavill. I am nerdy but beautiful. <laughs> no, he is the only one who can get away with that. So. Uh, put on the turn on the machine and they go right a couple of times until we get to these locked doors. Interact with the panel on the right hand side. Little puzzle we've got to do, just put these in a particular order. So again, fast forward 20-30 seconds. And then when we have done this puzzle, we get some electricity. Now what we're going to do is just um, interact with the black switch once, just flick it to the other side. Uh, so we're going to need to do this a couple of times to get electric in one room and electric in another, etc, etc. So make sure the light is on the right hand side. Then we can go back out and go through the left door. And there it is. Open up the curtains, pressing the A button of course. Now there, we have to uh, push these buttons again in a particular order. Very easy though. So, the bottom right one, starfish, press that one first. Then press the top left one, which is a seashell thing. Then the top right, which is moa fish. And then the bottom left, which is snail thing. And then press the uh, middle button there, and that'll stab this fish. That is a hell of a shot. The Lufius Cacciatorius, huh? Or fish for short, or weird fish for even shorter. So interact with the guy, give him the fish, that gets us the achievement, and well, now now we can move on, apparently. Lazy git, he's only in the next room, couldn't he have done it himself? 
No, that's what delivery's for, isn't it? So anyway, heading into this room, we've now got the cog, which is just hanging off the fish ass, or the fish tail, which uh, we can now put in our stopwatch. So the top right-hand corner, pop that one in, and that one is glory out. Get the map from the fish's eye. And apparently there's a prisoner as well, so we need to get the bottle of water to this um, <laughs> fish prisoner. That's got to be not a very comfortable place, I assume. Um, so he wants more water, so we're going to have to go back and get him some more. Cheeky git. Christ, what is it with people asking us to do stuff, eh? Anyway, back out, go to the left, go to the left again, and we are um, back at the sort of first room. Pick up the map there from Big Jawface. And now we can actually get all six tooth into his teeth. So put all six teeth into his tooth. And that should be uh, golden. Should be three in the bottom, three at the top. So slap it in, baby, like you're slapping a bass guitar. Bam, bam, bam. Dip, dip, bam. Gets us a drill. Yeah, baby, it gets us a drill. Oh, dip, 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 bam. Right, so go right a couple of times after you pick up the drill. Go through to the left door here. And go through left again. Uh, pick up the curtain, lovely jubbly, grab the drill, put it on the bottom right hand side of the frame. And that's going to get us some water, so get the empty bottle, pop that one up. And then interact with it again there to get the bottle with water. Funny. Right, press the uh, middle button again, since there's no water, the, the uh, mechanism works, so that gives us a key. So now we can uh, go right and then right again. To go back out, go through the right door this time, and once again, give this dude his bottle of water. Uh, the fish above the octopus run port side. Arr! Thanks, matey. So, go right a couple of times again until we get to the very end area. And uh, this time what we're going to do is get the key and interact with this cabinet thing. Get out this fossil. Again, that's going to be another puzzle that we're going to do in just a moment. So, go through the door. And, um, well, we don't need the fossil yet, but the map we can actually put on the fish tank. And this is all going to come in handy, so we can get, you can get the camera out if you want, we're just going to leave it for now, but go left. Now we're going to put the fossil in the top left corner. And then all you have to do is, again, just, this one does take a couple of minutes, but all you've got to do to rotate the pieces is just press A on them twice. That's all you've got to do. So, again, if you just skip forward to... 39 minutes and 45 seconds, you will see the end of Paris. I meant to say product and piece at the same time there, but you get me. So with that one done, we can now back out. Now what you got to do is just put the top two and the bottom left fish. Just interact with them once to turn them left. So interact there with the top left, top bottom and top right one to put them left. 
Uh, sorry. Sorry, no, you just got to interact with them all once. So interact with them all at once. So three should be f uh, going the left, and the bottom one, bottom right should be going right. That opens that up. The cabinet gets us a bone. Now we can go right, so we can get out of here. Go left, and go to the uh, left again. And then we are going to interact with this um, cabinet on the right-hand side wall. Nothing to do here. Just click the black button once until the light should be on the left-hand side now. Hmm, interesting. How do we know uh, when a fisherman dies? Anyway, go to the left once, interact with this on the wall as well. Now you have to again do a specific bunch of shapes, very easy, so it's a square with an L, the triangle, then it's a circle with a line through it, then it is um, that line with a bunch of lines through it, then it's a dartboard looking thing, and then like a prong type thing. I don't know. But anyway, what that gets us is a fuse and an eyeball. So just in case you were ever stuck, that's how you get yourself a fuse and an eyeball. So interact with this um, fuse box as well now. We're going to need to put the fuse in the bottom right hand corner. And all we got to do, you see the two triangles there in the middle? Interact with them twice and that should um, basically kickstart the whole thing. Or three times. They both basically need to be pointing up. There we go, so you've got the arrows in the middle pointing at either side, and that gets uh, this a bit of electricity going. So, we can just exit here now, and we can go to the right. No, we're going straight through the door. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Going through the door with the four jellyfish, and we're going to the left. Open up the coiton, and this particular mini game isn't too bad, but it does take a while. So what you've got to do is press all the buttons where the sort of worm wiener worm thing is sticking out so we have to do it quite quickly so as you can see i was failing there but it doesn't actually reset so there you go he comes out with the fourth one i kept failing a couple of times but um then i started getting into the hang of it so you just literally got to press the buttons wherever he pops out of again if you um fail you should be fine because all we're doing is doing it enough times so that the fifth Vase on the very right hand side breaks. So again, I actually backed out and come back into it um, And the fifth one broke with no problem So just keep smashing along for now and then eventually we should get um, uh, Hit the fifth vase enough that it cracks and this is actually another solution to a uh, Puzzle so you'll see it's big small small big small so we'll come to that one a little bit later on should be exactly the same for you as well So do near panic but we're going all the way out. When we do, we go to the right. And then go through this right-hand side door where the sort of prisoner thing is. Put the fisheye in. And that gives us another solution to another puzzle. So head to the right so we can get out. And um, go through to the fuse box again. Only this time what we're doing is um, interacting with the black switch. Yeah, so make sure the green light is on the right-hand side. Go right and right again. And go through the left door here. Now, what you have to do is click the bottom switch, then top, then top, then bottom, then top, and that should give us the next solution for the next puzzle. Man, somebody had a lot of time on their hands, Mr. Jigsaw. <laughs> right, so back and out of there then, once we've got that bit done. And now we're going to head to the left and interact with the fuse box again. Again, and then guess what we're going to do this time? Oh, that's right. Switch the black switch over to the left-hand side. All complicated stuff, this. Oh, it's killing me. Killing me so. Right, go to the left anyway. And now we're going um, to the next fuse box here. Guess what we're going to do with this one? That's right. Interact with the fuse so that the light is on the left-hand side, sort of to the jellyfish part there. Then we can go through the door. And now... Remember, this is the solution from the room just now with the bubble. So it's blue on the left, then green, then yellow, and then whatever that last one is. I do apologize. My eyes, they work about as well as um, Stevie Wonders when it comes to colors anyway. So when we've got that, we can now back out. <laughs> and we can go to the right. <laughs> oh, it's funny times. Go to the right again. And go to the right-hand side door there with the dinosaur post a bit. Now you've got to do this again in a particular order. So, um, on the left-hand side here, click the top 
button um, twice, and then click the third one three times. So the top button twice, the bottom one three times, that gets us a pearl. Pearl. Right, bone, pop that in. Now we have to click again on a specific set. So, um, specific set of bones. The first one is sort of the third from the right, then the second from the left, then the fourth one, and then the third one. And then that should get us this little um, uh, solution to do. And again, all you've got to do is just whack out your camera, and once again, it's just colour-schemed and colour-coded. Um, so, again, don't worry about remembering anything, because you don't. Because I got you back, and I love you. And I want to feel the love back. Right, so, back all the way right and into this room, going into the left room again, so we can interact with this panel this time. And what we need to do, interact with the second safe bit once, then the third one twice. And then the third one, interact with that three times, and that is how you open this particular safe. And that gets us the coin, and then what we're going to do is actually put the pearl back in. You know, we're not bastards, you know. We're not greedy, even though we could have made a, made a mint with all the stuff we found so far. So grab the key, so we now should have the key and the coin in order to finish the level. So the key we need to put there uh, on the booth, then we can put the coin in. And now, what we've got to do is just answer basically just a few questions. And they're all easy enough. Obviously, I'll tell you exactly which one to do. So, the first one, we are going to go with number two. Ding, ding, ding. How do you like me? How do you like me? Mo, mo, mo. Right, so this one is the spider. So, that'll be the third one. Find the intruder. Oh, my God, it's the guy with the gun. That's pretty intrusive. Get that out of my butt, man. Right, this one is the second one. The pretzel kind of type looking thing. With this next question, we it is number one. And for the finale of questionaries, it is number one again. And then when we get this one done, you can just grab the ticket, and this is us going to the next chapter. So, chapter four. So, now we can go all the way back left. And then go right, and let's meet our held up security friend. Hey, buddy. You held up water yet, mate? Nah. Get lost, pisshead. Right. So, into the next section we go. Right then, so, first things first, let's go through the first door. And we're going to grab the bloody cloth out of this statue's hands. Go right, so we can get out. And grab the camera, and as we can see, some dodgy stuff's going on. But we're going to take a picture here of this left-hand side statue. Uh, which is, again, a solution for yet another puzzle. Go right as many times as you can. Hello, what's up? Take another picture. Well, in fact, no, we're just... Um, Go into, if you click the eye at the top of the camera, this is how you get your picture up. So, just copy exactly the same as we've done in the statue right there to finish this puzzle. So, once this is done, Mr. Man Jesus looking alien thing is going to open his mouth and that is going to get us the card. Double O card. So, we can get off the camera now. And we can just go left. Go left. Go left, and go into the left-hand side door, right? Meow. Lots of creepy stuff's going on. Right, so we're going to be coming back to this room a couple of times. So click on this big projector thing. Put these circles with the second sort of projector, and we'll come back to the rest later. That'll open up, get us an oil can. Again, I suppose if you had a crowbar, this would make this a whole lot easier, but obviously not. So back out and go to the left, and put the oil on the squeaky statue wheels. Why there is a big statue on wheels, I do not know. But anyway, we just fudged that boy up, so near panic. Now we can go through the room, room, though, so happy days. Right, put the bloody cloth over the statue's head, because apparently he'll end up killing us dead if we try and take his balls. Don't tickle, don't tickle a statue's balls, they'll come back to haunt you, honestly. <sighs> anyway, when we've got the marbles, we can go back out, and <laughs> we can go to the right. And go through this right-hand side door. 
Right, we've got a weird lizard thing, so take a picture. Basically, we need to put the five um, statue balls that we've got, and we need to put it in these specific places. And that's easy enough. So again, just again, just follow exactly what I do and you're fine. So grab one and put it in his sort of leg type thing. Uh, grab another one, put it in the three that are on his back, more or less. In fact, one's going to need to go in the second middle part as well, just to let you know. So I did get that one kind of wrong. M Mayas apologias. So the third one, put it in the sort of middle of the left-hand side thing. And there we go. So that's how you do that one. Uh, that's also going to get us another card. Because again, it's going to be four cards we need to put into the projector. Blah, blah, blah. So back out of here and go into the um, left-hand side room. The projector room, as it were. Interact with the projector, put it in the top left card holder right there, and that's going to get us a key. Again, crowbar would have made this easier, or we could have just gone home and not bothered with this. That would have been good as well. So go to the right a couple of times to see this, see this weird demon thing. Uh, grab the key, interact with the left-hand side door, and knob yourself in right there. Right, so again, you just have to put these statues in a particular order to get them all level, so just go ahead and skip to... 51.55 Happy day! So what that's going to get us then, as soon as we do this, almost done, and perfect. So what that gets us is another eye and another card. So, creepy stuff, huh? Well, I'm pooping my knickers right now. Right, um, go into the right-hand side door. <laughs> this time. And we've got this weird guy with, um, with the little boy. Now, that is arrest-worthy, by the way. Um, but on the desk, if you get your camera out, on the desk is a puzzle solution that we need to do. You stay there, buddy. I'm, I'm phoning the police. God damn it, that's weird. Anyway, from here we can go to the left. And uh, just go to the left again. Nothing in this particular area just yet. We'll deal with that later. Go through the right-hand door here. And we can now give the lizard his eye back. So, that's nice of us, isn't it? Go ahead and pull the rope. So, welcome to the free, the elevator. So, click the button and go in, and we go into minus one, which is the middle button. And we'll be doing this a lot now f throughout the uh, next two chapters. So, go ahead, press A to get out, and then go to the left-hand side. I've got a couple of weird things in this room. We're going to pick up the jar first, though, and interact with the thing here. And then what we need to do, then, is put in the bottom three, uh, make sure you put one, two, and three. So we need something plus something plus something equals blah, blah, blah. So put one, two, three in the bottom three. Then we put in 99 in the top first two. So it's 99 plus 8. There you go. Plus 7. Plus 5. Plus 4. I don't think it makes a difference, the 8, 7, 5, and 4, whatever way you do it. As it all adds up to the same. But that gives us one card with a line on it. Again, very awkward puzzles to get one card with a line on it. So, back to the right, open up the elevator, go to floor one. And then get yourself it. And we'll come back to that a lot later on. Uh, just a little bit. So, um, back to the room with this sort of poster on it. Go to the left-hand side door. And here we are. What we need is to put the line in, put the circle one in, and now we can start doing more of the puzzles on this floor. Right after we pick up this sheet. Right, there was the sheet. Happy day. So you should now have a sheet and a jar in your inventory. So get out there. Go to the right. And now what we're going to do is use the sheet to change these statue's poses. And we have to do it manually each time. So for the left one, put the sheet on him once. Uh, take it off. And yep, then put it on him once again. Then take the sheet off. That should now be uh, good if you do it a third time. Okay, so that should be good now. With the second one, put the sheet on, and that should be good there. So with the third one, put the sheet on once, put the sheet on twice, 
and that should be good and then now uh, do it with the fourth one once and we should get that symbol now we have to in the projector room we have to make that exact same symbol so from here go back left and go to the left again left side door i mean sorry so interact with the projector now if you want just to, um fast forward about 20 or 30 seconds or just keep watching what i do so this um first one what you need to do is you can click a on it and drag it down and put it sort of halfway between the pipe. Now, I have a look at the sort of patterns on the wall where to put it. So, just next to the pattern on the wall, I put that one. The one with the line, put it in the sort of right-hand corner, just halfway in between the frame. And this circle, put it right in the middle, and then it should automatically be done, which gives us a loot and a key. Job done. Um, I did try going back on it to show you exactly what it was, but the puzzle reset, which is annoying as hairy ass bows. Right. So anyway, that's the first one done. Now we can go uh, back out, and then go to the right, and then go to the right again, and go to the... Whoa, sorry, sorry. Messing this one up. We're going to the left to go to the statue area. Sorry, that's my apologies. So in the statue area, this is where the uh, next puzzle is. So, uh, as you can see, it's like the sort of screws, if you want to call them the other way, plus at the top, and then it's two crosses with the H type thing there in the middle. So, so again, apologies just about that whole um, screen shift in there. But when we do that, we've now got a piece of paper with, again, a puzzle what we have to do. If you think we ain't going to do any more puzzles, you're very much mistaken, man. Right, so we have gone all the way right. We do actually need to go... Um, just to this this part with the sort of meat um, statue demon thing. So again, apologies again about the, sh uh, the quick screen shifting right there. So put the jar in with the meat. Very questionable meat, might I add. Looks more like um, testicles and flaps, really. But um, anyway, each to their own. So what we have to do with this meat then? We have to feed all these statues. So with the first one, you need to feed him three times. Yep, three times until he's sort of at the bottom. With the second one, just feed him once. The third one, twice. The, um, the fourth one, just twice again. The fifth one, you can do it twice, three times. The next one, feed him once. With the next one, you can leave it and then just feed this one twice. And that will open up this and will get us a... Well, it's another symbol which we have to do again. Oh, come on, why can't we have just found everything and... Uh, anyway, we're going left. Why can't we have found everything at the same time? Just made life easier. But anyway, back into the projection room. I'm going to have to do the same sort of puzzle again. So, this time with the top left one, put that down all the way... Well, very close to the floor. Leave the double circle one. Put the line sort of at the bot all the way at the bottom right. And then the circle at the uh, just above that one. And that will get us the... Uh, flute and the key. The loot, the flute, and the key. Loot and the flute, and the key. Right. So from here, what we actually need to do is go left until we get to the fallen statue part. So again, apologies about the um, weird quick screen shifting right here. But we needed to go left just until we get to here, which is the fallen statue, and go through this door. Right, what you need to do now is open up the key and walk yourself through. And now this is the most... One of the most annoying parts. So basically, what you have to do is get the camera out, and on the demon's head is going to have this symbol, the triangle, or the the false one, which is the circle. Now, he's pointing to the right-hand side door. Now, so basically, if he's telling the truth, if his head has the triangle on it, or he's, being, he's lying if he's got the circle or a triangle spiral on it. So I'll tell you which one anyway. So he's got the triangle on it. So put the camera on, he's got the triangle on, he's pointing to the right door, which is the right one to go through. This one, it always takes a couple of minutes. So, um, camera again, he's got the triangle on it, he's pointing to the left door, so we have to go to the left door. Triangle, he's, po he's got the circle on his head this time, and he's pointing to the left door, which means he's lying, which means you have to go through the right door. So just keep doing this until we get to the next screen. Like I said, you've got the... Triangle, which is truth, the circle, which is um, false, but also if there's a triangle in the shape of a spiral, that is, like this one, this is a lie. So he's pointing to the right, so if you see that triangle spiral, go the opposite direction. That is also false, that's just to throw you off. 
So again, just do this for a couple of minutes and you're golden as nuggets. Got it, right, so, hope that wasn't too tasking for you. So this is a puzzle in which you have to click the um, circles to swing the four, it's basically four pieces, as you can see, so you've got to swing them around. Um, now what you have to do is just put the same faces on each, um, each column going down. So if you just go ahead and skip to one hour, three and five seconds, you will see exactly what I mean. But it's easy enough to do. Um, there's nothing too complicated. Just try and get all the faces over to the left and y you shouldn't have too much trouble with this, hopefully. There she blows, matey. So, we've got this final statuette, the final piece where we have to do. Unfortunately, for the next couple of minutes, we actually have to go back through this bit. But the trick is, it's the opposite way now. So, where the triangle was truth before, it is now false. And where the circle was the false one, it is now the truth. So, if he's got a triangle on his head, go through the opposite door of what he's uh, saying, and if he's got the circle on his head, go through the right door. So he's got a triangle on it, so this time it's false, so you need to go through the left door, if you get me. Again, he's got a triangle on it, so he's pointing left, so we need to go through the right door. Triangle again, he's pointing right, so we need to go through the left door. So this bit is a bit more confusing, but, <laughs> but just think, it's the opposite way around now. So. We've got spiral triangle, which means, of course, this is the right side we're going through. So, again, you've got to do this for just a couple of minutes. And uh, you should be, again, golden as ball nuggets, man.
So that is more or less five minutes of having to piss around with that before we get to this place just for a mushroom. Okay then, so we've done all that for a mushroom and a statue. It's just not worth it, is it? So go to the right, now we can finally go back. We've done this part, thank God. Go right uh, a good couple of times. Uh, oh, sorry, we're just going back left once. So we're going back into the projector room because, of course, we need to do this last projector. So that is what we need. Kind of like three balls with a line through him. Like somebody's took a machete to your third testy right there. Ah, ow! Right, so again, with the top left one, bring it down sort of just so it's in the middle to the left of the, uh, to the right of the frame slightly. With the double O, put them, uh, put it way over to the left. And just so it's slightly underneath. Uh, with the line, uh, we need to put this one straight, of course, as you can see. So we just need to put that one as straight as possible. And then with the fourth one, there you go, pop that one down. And it should work, but you need to get it the, the line a little bit straighter than that. So that's why it hasn't worked for me yet. I'll just, uh, let me just pop around that in just a second. Yeah. All right, there it is. So it's nice and up. There we go. So that should be the last one that we've finally done. So that gets us a tambourine and it gets us a key as well. Why we've got these instruments? <laughs> well, and that looks more like a COVID ball, to be honest, than a tang uh, tangerine, than a tambourine. But, you know. So out of this room. We are going to go into the right side room, go um, into the elevator, hop yourself in, ignore all the crappy elevator music because that one wants to kill you, um, put the key into the minus two and that will get us to the second minus floor. Obviously there's only one way to go, nice elephant and weird crow looking at you. Um, interact with the pickaxe, again don't try to um, poop your pants there, the eyeballs shining down on you. Uh, go back into the elevator anyway. And we are going back to floor numero uno. As in number one. As in we. Oui. No, wait, that's yes. Yeah, other languages are not exactly my strong point. Neither is English, to be fair. So anyway, we're going left. We need to go to the statue part. Get the pickaxe and whack his noggin off. Oosh! Makes you feel like a hard man, doesn't it? Me. Or a hard woman, of course. Right. Um, go to the next room here. Put the statue on there. And we've now got the music score. So, a slash sheet music. So go left. Go left. Well, not this far left. But into this sort of first room that we came. It's the sort of instrument room. Right. What we need to do. Put the sheet music on the big statue bit by there. Put the mandolin on the right hand side. The Flute on the left-hand side statue, and the COVID tambourine with the middle one. That gets us the Long Live Opera achievement, but what it also does is gives us a whole bunch of annoying opera crap, which you can't really turn off unless you turn the music down for the next couple of minutes or so. Uh, right, so we're just going to go to the right-hand side with the demon meat bit, go into the right-hand side door. So he's going to knob off now, thank God. So it turns out we did need to get to the police. Just um, put some opera on. There we go. Job done. Uh, give the boy this mushroom. He's going to go into an epic magic mushroom trance. Where he starts bopping his head to opera and starts going nuts. Like he thinks it's a rave or something. He gives us the coin. And we are basically finished now with chapter 4. So coin. Pop that in. Now with this puzzle that we have to do. All you have to do is quickly mash the A button. When we get this arrow, you just got to quickly mash the A button as quick as you can until all the lights are lit up. And that's all you got to do for this bit. Um, if he opens his eyes, um, you just fail and you just got to quickly restart. That's all. So that's all you got to do. Let me hear the right ticking. Whap out your stopwatch, buddy. And that is that for this bit. Job done. So he gets his um, apparently British unclean teeth. Because again, that's all... Uh, British people, apparently we don't brush our teeth and they're all massive for our heads. I don't know who the hell come up with that one, but it's daft, okay? It's a daft idea. Right, anyway, uh, you can interact with a book. You have to, to get this final gear cog. And that for is a good particular reason. Open up your stopwatch, stick the gear in, and now we've got the ability to transfer it from night to day. So when we're in the night time, um, it's all like, well, Goat Simulator-ish. Death-ish. It's a scary looking dude, that. 
Right, so with this one then, what you have to do is basically generate your own code. Now, it might that they might be different for you, uh, the codes, but it doesn't matter as long as you've generated your own code and it's easily rememberable. So for me, spin the guy once or twice, and I've just done like the kind of prong type thing. Spin them a couple of times until you get the same one again. You should have three of the same. So if you keep spinning him, you should get three of the same down. So I've got three prongs and then just another... Um, another symbol which will be easily rememberable for you. So for me, I just do the circle. Just keep spinning them around. And I just end up doing the circle with a line through it. Because that is easily rememberable for me. So again, like I said, if you can, get the first three the same. And then the fourth one, which is easily rememberable. As I said, you're just generating your own code. So spin the guy, generate your own code, and go left a couple of times. And again... And then on this wall is where we're going to be putting in our code. So, you remember yours, because it could be random for you. But for me, of course, it was the three prongs in the circle with a line in it. That was how I found it was easier. This should open up this and get us the rusty hook of life. Or the sickle. Pop sickle. Test sickle. <laughs> anyway, into the room. Grab the cloth. And that's a delicious looking eyeball. Looks a bit meaty. And then we can go out. And we can go to the left. Now what we can do is get that bloody cloth, put it on the statue on the right, and for some reason, this other statue's tongue knobs off. Job done. That'll save us some time and hassle. Go to the right a couple of times until we get to this room. Go into the right-hand side door. This is the elevator door. Now, pull the rope on the right-hand side, and the lizard is going to come down. What you need to do is feeding this tentacle, and that not only is that going to give us the feed achievement, we also need to pick up his poop. So, well, I mean, that went straight, that just went straight through him, didn't it? So, we need to put his, pick up his poop, put it in our pockets somewhere, without a tissue, which is gross. Put the rope back up, go in the elevator, and go to minus one. Now, we are, like I said, going to be doing this a few times. So, we need to feed him four different items. We need to pick up his poop a couple of times, and that poop turns into diamonds. So, when we go to minus one, head left, and now we need to interact with the stopwatch to turn it into day. As you'll be able to see, wow, look at the magic. I feel so magic in it right now. So the poop turns into a nice blue diamond, <laughs> or blue crystal, whatever. Put that blue crystal, or sapphire, sorry. Sorry, I oh, can't believe I got that so wrong. Put the sapphire into the top blue left-hand corner, the top left-hand corner one. And put it back tonight, and make sure to pick up the sun card, which has just gone underneath it. So this is what we're doing now for literally the next sort of ten minutes or so. In the next five minutes at least anyway so we've got the sun card now what we need to do um you can actually from here just put it back to day if you wanted because uh, we'll just be doing the same thing anyway but go right and go into the elevator go back up to floor level unos magunos which is of course the top one so go ahead and do it do it <coughs> sorry had a little, <laughs> a little something in my throat right Turn the stopwatch so we are at day, and then go right. In this room, go to the left until we find the bloody cloth right there, and go through this door with the um, musical instrumentios until we can put the stopwatch to turn it back to night. Now with the sun card, we've got to put it in the left-hand side box, and that will get us a brain. Delicious. Looks, well, looks tastier than anything uh, KFC have got to pull up. Even though I tell you what, KFC is one of my ultimate favourites, so... Well, beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, to the right, back into the elevator, pull the rope. Go back to the um, knight on your stopwatch. Because, of course, he is made of stone, right? Meow. So we're not going to be able to feed him a knout. He's eating the brain. Again, make sure you've got a tissue, but pick up his poo. <laughs> that's, that's about as um, nice as I can get with that one. Try not to... Touch your face with it and stick it in your mouth and that. You don't want to be tasting poop. We'll wait until that turns into a sapphire, apparently. So, anyway, back in the elevator. Back down to minus one. And go left again. Turn uh, turn the day into day. Obviously, with the stopwatch. And this time, put that one in the top right-hand corner. Put the stopwatch back to night. And we get another card. <laughs> again, this bit... It's easy, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. It's just so finicky going back and forth and back and forth. But anyway, go back up. We're going back up to um, floor level one-offs. 
Man, my English is fantastic. And again, go right. So just so we can get into the back uh, main corridor. Go left a couple of times. Not that much, though. <laughs> Basically back into the first room where we were. Uh, turn it back into day, of course. There she blows, matey man. There we go. Go back in. Turn it back into night so we can now place the green card in the second box right there. That gives us a heart. Nice. Okay. Because why not? Turn it back into day. So we're going to go uh, right a couple of times. And then we can go it back into the right-hand side door. You can turn it back to night. Pull down the rope. Before opening the door, of course. So we can feed him the heart. And again... We're going to stick some poo. We're going to eat his poo. I tell you what, this is not a good diet. If you poop in that quick, it's not a good diet. Not the diet for you. So we can put it, we can put it back today. In fact, no, it's probably best not to. Um, I actually leave it at night for the time being because then you can't get through the door. So back down to minus one. Head left. And now we can turn it back into day. That will give us the green uh, emerald this time. Put it in the... Uh, sort of middle right one there. And make sure to pick up the fire card that it's sticking out of the left-hand side just before we move on. And again, just do the same thing. Oh, how entertaining, am I right? Back up to the first floor. Uh, lucky I've got a vari variety of weird voices, otherwise me going, back up to the first floor, back up to the second floor. You'd want to stab your own ears off by now. So... Go back to the first sort of room, back into the opera house. Uh, turn it back to Nightios. Pop. Put the fire in the fire one, and that is the third one done. Now we've got some fingers. No, they're not the uh, Cadbury fingers. They are the <laughs> they are chocolate-covered human fingers. So, where well, close enough. Anyway, back to the right, back to the elevator room here. And again, pop it back to night, so we can pop this um, one down. Feed him his Cadbury chocolate bingers. He's going to poop him out again. Uh, and we still haven't washed our hands. Do you know what I mean? We've got we've got crap on our hands and we're not washing them. Delicious. Back to minus one. And back through. And then we're going to go left again, of course. And finally, put it into date. And then we can finally do this bit. So again, it only takes a couple of minutes, but it's a pain in the nut, nut sacks, really, isn't it? Right, take a picture. Uh, get your camera out and take a picture. This uh, should, again, be the same. The majority of puzzles should exactly be the same for you. So we've got the picture of what we need to move on. So go to the right. Go into the elevator. And head up to floor numeros unos. And head through. Go to the right. And use the stopwatch again to turn it back into night, from the right to the night. Use the pop sickle, or the test sickle. <laughs> uh, I was funny once. Right, go to this room with the meaty bit. Now, me trying to use a test sickle, I'm going to keep it because it's funny, on um, metal chains does not work. So, we need to put it back to day. And now we can use it because it's rope. Pop. Delicious Mundo. And, um, turn it back to night. Sorry, I almost forgot then. So, turn it back to night, and now we should get this big piece of paper. Again, doesn't look ominous or disgustingly creepy at all. Uh, now we can put it back to day anyway. So, we've literally just got a few short minutes left now with the game to do, and then we are done with it. So, from here, we are heading to the left, where the statue is. Go to the projection room. And from here, we can now place... Um, this, we need to basically do the same thing as we've done. So again, very easy, but just again, copy exactly what I do. So the top one, leave it in this sort of bottom corner. The double eyes, put it all the way to the left-hand side. The, uh, with the line, make sure to put that, uh, to the sort of bottom right-hand corner so the line is straight on the paper. And then with the circle, put it, uh, sort of up to the top right corner there. And that gets us this secret door. I mean, literally, what you could have done is just move the, the cabinet yourself there, but there you go, such is life. Go back to the night time anyway, use the camera, and remember to use the eye icon so you know exactly which one it is. It's basically a rocket shape. So, with the top one, 
just um, keep clicking until it's at the triangle. Bottom one, square with a circle in it. Third one, re regular old, regular old square. And then the last one is the two triangles on top of each other. Yes! But we're not quite done yet. We've got, we've only got one more achievement, by the way. And it is for doing this bit. So we've got guy dressed up as lady bloody hammering the hell out of everything. Right, okay, so he's got a hammer which in which he could kill us with, but we're going to play a game of chess or something. So, click on the guy, and then choose the bottom left option. Because he's got two demons, and we are the guy, of course, with the top hat. Click the bottom left corner again. Now what you can do is click on the couple of squares next to us to um, put up a couple of shields so the demons can't get to us. So the one sort of top right of us, and the one below that... Bing, 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 bing! You are a winner! You don't die today. Right, so, second round, click on the guy. And then go to bottom right. Click on guy again. Uh, sorry, no, do not click on guy again. Put shield where diamond was there, just at the top right of us. Um, put another sh um, uh, Sorry, now click the guy and go right. Sorry, got, I got those two totally confused then. Um, put top right shield. Shield in the top right. Then a shield to the left of us. Then a shield below us. And then another shield below that one. That is how you win the third round, second round. I can't even... I don't even know my numbers anymore. Click on the guy. Go left. And then from here, we can now put a shield in the bottom left corner from where we are. And another shield below us. And click on the guy again and go left. Okay, are we going to die? Hell nah, we're going to put a shield to the right of us. And then just put two shields, one above us, one to the left of that. And that is how you beat this bit. Um, there is a little bit more of the game to do, but th for achievements for us, that is that. So, there we go then, guys. So congratulations on, a, on another 1,000. Yeah, enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. You should now be on 11 out of 11 achievements. Don't forget to check me on my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon as well. A big, huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Honestly, you guys are just fantastic. And again, for everyone who interacts with me on the daily anyway, you guys are awesome as well. And there we go then. So that's that. I shall see you in the next one, I guess, guys and gals. Oh, bye, 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 big love.